writers don't like to do videos and talk into cameras. That's not why we became writers. Um, they would prefer to write you all a letter and I would, as an illustrator, prefer to draw you a dragon. But as my wonderful French publishers, Christine Baker and Edwige Paquet, asked me to do a video, here's the video. So, welcome to Bonzel, which is my new place in Malibu, California. And we will now go to my writing house so I show you all the things I'm working on and why I'm not in France to talk to you in person. This is the past my gardener, Alfonso Fuentes, who I think is a wizard, built for me to walk from my house to my writing barn. The barn used to be a tractor barn, but now you will see it's something very different. And here's the barn. It was used by a potter, it was used by a seamstress, and now it is used by a writer and illustrator. It is a place to create in where I would say the muses kiss you so passionately that I wish I had 10 arms so I could write five books at the same time. The old workbench you see here was there from the beginning when this little house was built. And I thought it is a dream come true because I'm a writer who always works on several projects at the same time. The first table is about projects I think about, but they're not quite there yet. Things I want to play with, but I haven't begun to work on yet. The second is a wonderful project I do with a cellist who just honored Monzo by bringing his cello and playing Bach on the upper hill that is also part of my property, where I have a little stage and hopefully one day there will be also young French artists working with American artists and creating beautiful things. This is about a project I will do with him about his broken cello. Then we come to a book that will be published in France, thanks to Gallimard, this year, the second part of Dragon Rider. A Griffin's Feather, which took me so long to write that I hope the third part will come much faster. This are all the research materials for the third part and as you see it will be a lot about the ocean. Here we come to another series. The fourth table is the Reckless Table and I'm so very thrilled that Gallimard also republishes these books this year. This is all about reckless, about the mirror world, about, as you see, Japanese tattoos, which already gives away what the fourth book will be about. And then the fifth table, which I thought I would get to the latest, but which actually claims my attention very much at the moment, that's Inkard. And it is the next book of Inkard, The Color of Revenge which I'm currently working on. You can imagine, as Inkheart is still so vivid in the minds of so many readers, I'm taking my time with this because I don't want to disappoint anybody. We all know how much we hate to have a favorite book and then be let down by a sequel. The voices you may now hear in the back are my two young dogs who think it is ridiculous of me to be in the writing house without them. And there you see the mountains and my orchard and the trees are brought from my other house. And uh, you can imagine that at the moment I'm turning into a tree myself and I'm not too eager to travel. But I very much hope I will be in Paris again very soon. Thank you so much to my wonderful publishers, to all of you for all the passion you give to my books, to all the booksellers and all the magical book lovers in France. <laughs>